guys, so today's video is going to be another installment of my X-Men series, and this time we are doing a tutorial for Beast. Originally when I did this, I did a really super simple blue winged eyeliner with a nude lip. The main reason I went with a just a simple winged eyeliner at first was because of Beast's character. Like, even though he looks like a giant blue furball and, you know, is very ferocious, um, he's actually like a scientist. He has a doctorate and he appreciates the finer things in life. So I figured that, you know, the look can be inspired by Beast's colors, but, you know, play out more on his character as a very sophisticated type of dude. So that's what I went with again today. So I went with a blue winged eyeliner, a little bit of a blue in the crease. And then for the lips, I swore to myself that I wouldn't do another neutral lip because the last two X-Men videos were all neutral lips. This time around, I went with gold because um, gold is a pretty much universal color amongst the X-Men. Uh, the original colors of the uniforms were blue and gold, So I and Beast is one of the original X-Men, so I figured let's add some gold in there. And if you guys want to know anything about Beast as a character, as always in the description box, I will put a small little bio about Beast and the link to his spotlight page on uncannyxmen.net. Yeah, I really enjoy this look. I think it looks really cool. Um, you know, something a little more on the simpler side, I guess. I don't know. So yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and shut up now and get the tutorial started. Okay, so before I started filming, I went ahead and filled in my eyebrows, which I basically just did my usual eyebrow shape but I smudged in the front of it a little bit. I was trying to go for kind of like the bushy eyebrow faux hair kind of thing, but it turned into smudges, which I kind of like it a little bit better. Um, so I'm down for that. So as you can see, the eye look itself is rather simple, but I think it's pretty effective for Beast's character. Um, so I'm gonna start off with is Wet n Wild's Brulee on a very fluffy Wet n Wild eyeshadow brush. I'm going to use this as my base all over the eye type of shade. Um, this is a technique that I really like doing whenever I am doing just very simple eyeliner um, or a really neutral look. It's kind of like my lazier version of a transition color. Next up I'm going to do is take the eyeshadow Mercury by Corpse Cosmetics. This is from the Sailor Senshi collection and it's just a really deep blue color. What I'm going to do is take this onto an e.l.f. blending brush like this and I'm going to take that, kind of dab it on the top, but tap off as much of the excess as I can and the placement of Wet n Wild down below will help diffuse or dilute the color, not diffuse, but dilute the color even more. So I'm just going to rock this into my eye socket area. And then without and adding any more product onto the brush, I'm going to add just the littlest bit to my nail bridge, kind of blending some of the eyeshadow that I have in my brows down below. And that, kind of from afar, kind of furrows the brow a little bit more. And then I'm just going to add the littlest bit of my little pencil. Uh, this is Urban Decay's Electric. I'm going to add this onto... My lower lash line. I was originally going to add it into my waterline, but I think the pencil is on the verge of drying up, so it didn't really show up in the waterline very well on my other eye. It seems to be doing fine on this eye, but I don't know. That's weird. And then again, without adding any product, just kind of hover over and diffuse that color. And if you feel it's too dark on the side, just take the same brush that you used with brulee. And dilute the color. Because I want it to be kind of... I want it to be noticeable, but still subtle. And then I'm just going to take a blue eyeliner. This is Wet n Wild Mega Liner in Indigo. The other option I have for this, if you don't have this one, um, would be the Milani Infinite Liquid Liner in the shade Infinite. Um, the only reason I didn't use this one is because this is a little more on the indigo side, whereas this is more of like a bold electric blue, and Beast's fur is leaning more on the indigo side. 
So I'm going to use this opportunity to show you guys how I usually draw my eyeliner shape um, because I get a lot of questions about how I do my eyeliner. So what I like to do first is I kind of just, you know, take off some of the product off the brush and that's because I first like to sketch out the way that I do my eyeliner. I'm going to go from the outer corner to my crease area. And I kind of follow along with the line of my lower lash line. And then from there, what I like to do is fill in my upper lash line. And, and then with whatever is left on my brush, go back up to the very tip of where I drew and pull it down at an angle. It's kind of like playing connect the dots, like I leave that little part there to connect the wing to. And then the rest of it I fill it in. And I've gotten to the point now where I can do that in a couple of seconds. Because I've been doing this eyeliner shape since I was like 13. And it just takes practice. Like, I'm not going to guarantee that if you guys are trying to learn how to do winged eyeliner, it's going to come out amazing in the first couple of tries. You just have to sit there, practice, and hit your funny bone on your brush case. Ow. Um, so now what I'm going to do is put my little dot on the inner corner right here. I'm using my Milani Ultra Fine Liner in Sparkling Turquoise. Um, I did this with my last tutorial with the Banshee one. And... I don't know. I just... It's just something I like doing. Adds a little flair to it. <laughs> Next what I'm going to do is take this eyeliner and actually paint my lower lashes with it so it creates like a blue mascara. Okay, so for the rest of the face I just wanted to go with some clean blush. Again, no contour. I'm just not really feeling contour this week, I guess. I don't know. But for the blush, I'm using another one of my new um, Wet n Wild uh, Ombre blushes. I bought three of these, so if you guys want a review on these, please let me know because I don't know. I just got them, but they're kind of nice. <laughs> I dig them. Um, but this shade is called In a Purple Haze, and it's a pink to purple gradient. So I'm just taking that on my blush brush, and I'm going to put this again on the apples on my cheeks and work it backwards. And then for the highlight, I'm not going to use this because the pink is way too bright. So I'm going to go in with another, a different highlight. So I'm going into the Bowels of the Beast. I'm going to be using my Bare Minerals Mineral Veil in Brightening Gold. Don't let the name fool you. This is a fucking highlighter. <laughs> um, like it looks bright and gold, but it has like a really cool pink reflect to it and it doesn't come off gold at all on my skin tone. So I really like using this as like a super, not really intense, but bright highlight. For lips, my original thought was to go with a nude, but I've done nude lips for the past three videos, and I promised to myself that I wouldn't do a nude lip for this video. So, what I've decided for the lip color is 
a gold. The shade that I'm using is NYX's Zeus, which is a gold lipstick. <laughs> um, so I'm gonna line the lips using just a neutral lip liner, which I guess I'll use NYX Natural, which is the one I've been using in the last three videos, I think. And with Zeus, unfortunately, my little nub kind of destroyed itself. But no matter. And then to finish up the lip, just because I feel like this gold is a little bit dark compared to what I kind of want, I'm gonna go in with the NYX Diamond Sparkle Lip Gloss in the shade Gold Sparkle, which is a super bright gold. So that concludes my Beast Inspired makeup tutorial for my X-Men series. I really hope you guys like it. I really like how it turned out. The next X-Men in the series should be... I have my list. I have a list written down. I got professional with this. I think it's either going... I think it's going to be Bishop. Is it going to be Bishop? Probably Bishop. Um, but if not, I'll just write the name down here because... I thought I had my list with me, but I guess not. <laughs> if you guys have any comments, questions, or concerns, feel free to leave them in the comment section down below. And I really hope you guys are enjoying the series so far. And... What else do I want to say? I love you. And I'll see you in my next video. Bye, guys.